welcome to Sun, Moon, Star Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. These next four bell songs are to align us and to bless this reading. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Scorpio. This is just going to be a timeless general reading um, about whatever situation that you are needing help with. So first we're going to do one card to describe you right now. And then we're going to take a look at the situation. And then we're going to do another card to describe what you should aspire to be. And advice here, right? So, water. <laughs> Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started, all right? So we're going to see what attribute describes you right now right so spirit what attribute describes scorpio right now what attribute describes scorpio right now what attribute describes scorpio right now oh this is the archetype by the way right so we have child divine innocence purity and redemption suggest a special connection with the divine, right? So right now at this time, you are really developing your connection with spirit or you are being encouraged to develop a connection with spirit. Um, this looks different for everyone. Uh, this would be the shadow. Shadow attribute, an inability to defend, defend oneself against negative forces, all right? So possibly at this time, oh, we have version. So a lot of things are on purity here uh purity of heart and spirit so at this time putting a white light of protection around yourself um and so it is and so it is you know all right so spirit please tell me more about this connection please tell me more about this uh they said connection so i'm guessing this may or may not be about a person uh we shall see i'm not gonna call it before it happens but so tell me about this person or situation. Do you want to do thoughts, your higher selves or your astral self thoughts, feelings, spirit, what they really want you to learn here and how this is being uh, materialized for you, right? And this is not my original spread, by the way. I just want to make that clear. Um, I got it from this amazing tarot teacher. All right, so we have thoughts, feelings, Makes sense. Your spirit. Uh, please clarify. Oh, not oof, but oof. And then your material world. All right. So there's a lack of movement here. Um, some, yeah. Bottom of the deck here, we have separation. We have the chariot. We have temperance. And we have six of swords here, all right? So... There seems to be a lack of movement and your heart kind of being in your heart being separated from your thoughts and your thoughts being separated from your heart. So there's a lack of cohesiveness here. Angel. Wow, you have a lot of pure aspects about yourself. Um, and you also have angel here. Hope and meals in need with no expectation of return. All right. So you may have trouble receiving help. You may have trouble letting others in at this time. And that may be the issue here. Should I, should I not? Like, just having more of a cynical outlook on a situation, right? And then here we have your spirit as five of wands, seven of cups. I'm sorry for the influx of light. Uh, the sun's coming out, but I hope you can see that well. Um, yeah, from that, you can see it a little bit better. I'm really sorry about that. I think it's going away now. All right. Sorry. <laughs> so here we have the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. This is letting me know there, there is some um, confusion and a need to be grounded at this time and to stay grounded. So I'm going to be pulling a card actually for this part here specifically because this is a little bit um, uneasy for me just because this is coming in as what your spirit feels. Um... And so this is like, this is a really unrest, unhappy, confused, like of just being in a lot of confusion, all right? But we do have some movement here, which is a very nice energy here. Uh, we do have a Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords moves pretty swiftly. Uh, please clarify the Seven of Cups. And but thank you, Five of Wands. Here we have the Four of Cups. 
So is there just this sense of meh? Probably this is the collective energy that you are feeling. You are a warrior sign. One more, please. God, they're always doing it so quickly. And then we have our energy coming out here. We have Scorpio energy here. We have death, right? So this is coming to an end. I'm not getting that this is any, about anything in particular. This is just you needing to become more grounded um, as pertaining to your spirit. So needing to connect with your um, your spiritual side more at this time. Your spiritual side is calling you. Especially with all these really like angelic, high feeling cards like i mean guys look at this you have all these beautiful attributes here you have alchemist you have angel <laughs> you have magical child and you have the virgin card here so getting your purity back getting your sense of purity getting your sense of innocence back as well um because i feel like this is really about cynical energy here what is this two of swords about Thank you. Yeah, you have the lovers here. We have the ace of swords. And then we have the heart here. So your heart is wanting to go in a direction that you're really not allowing it to. And it may be slowing down this connection here. Um, this confusion is probably based in the past. I see she's looking back. Um, four of cups. Yeah, just being discontent and being like, just needing to ground yourself, really, really ground yourself. We have balance here, temperance. Uh, Six of Swords moving on, the Hermit by yourself, Virgo energy, Three of Cups, and then this is um, Sag energy here, Knight of Swords here, just really taking that energy. Oh, this is Gemini energy here, the Lovers, but really just taking um, this Knight of Swords energy and going with it you know we need to go with this line of swords energy you need to go with movement um not saying that being stagnant is always bad this stuff is something that you are clearing but you want this nine of pentacles you want you want movement forward basically because you have two different knights here so you definitely want movement forward um and everyone wants movement forward right so there definitely will be movement forward in this connection all right um but it's looking like you're needing to really work past a lot of internalized concepts, um, the past, um, something about mirroring here, this Four of Cups. <clears throat> so when you pull away, they pull away when, you know. Um, and being like, this Five of Wands is honestly stumping me here. I know what the Five of Wands means. It's all about being chaotic. It's all about um just being disconnected in a way and but it's also a time of change you know so this five of wands is definitely a necessary evil necessary evil All right so um please give three cards for advice for scorpio with this time of reading movement in the future. movement forward i feel like especially <clears throat> yeah we have new life here beautiful we have new life here you wake him up after kind of like this time of discovering death, basically. We have a message in the bottom and I was talking about death. I hope you can understand what I was saying, meaning like uh, water death. Um, and then we have a water here. So we'll leak, and this is all about your connection with spirit as well. So movement forward and the connection with yourself and with this companion ship, but also movement, movement forward in your spiritual life as well. So movement in the spiritual and physical. So really chariot energy here. I'm surprised the chariot didn't come out. <clears throat> uh, one more card for spirit. All right. You have deep knowing. Yeah. So it's like kind of like your your head is like slow, slow, slow. And your heart's like, no, I, I kind of want to like do this. So now it's like at this impasse. But there's definitely going to be movement here. <laughs> Then we have Fork in the Road. It's so funny, they're hilarious. The goal of the distance, having endurance, always being honest, connection with spirit again. All right. 
So thank you so much for watching this reading Scorpio. If you found it to be helpful, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do know that I'm offering a six-week mentorship program about expanding your spirituality. If you're interested, everything you need to know is in the description box down below, including my landing page, www.spiritualgenie.com. And you can book your private reading with me at www.dosemnusartura.com. And you can follow me on Instagram at spiritualagina. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope this reading has been a benefit for you. Namaste.